Noah Noah was a good man, a man of integrity. Here is the full story of Noah, according to the Bible. When Lamech was 182 years old, he had a son. He named him Noah, saying, This one will give us a break from the hard work of farming the ground that God cursed. After Lamech had Noah, he lived another 595 years, having more sons and daughters. Lamech lived a total of 777 years. And he died. When Noah was 500 years old, he had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis 5 verses 28 to 32, MSG. Noah was also credited with being a righteous man who lived during a time when humanity had become corrupt and wicked and the earth was filled with violence, and God decided to bring a flood to cleanse the world. Genesis chapter 6, verse 9 says that, Noah was a good man, a man of integrity in his community. Noah walked with God. And from verses 11 through 18 of the same Genesis chapter 6, the Bible says, The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and, behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them and, behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of, the length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And, behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life, from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou, and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy son's wives with thee. Genesis 6 verses 11 to 18, KJV. However, I am constrained to think that the righteousness and perfection of Noah as described here by the Bible are more of the only pure, uncorrupted, unbastardized, and unadulterated humans, because, other humans have been corrupted through the crossbreed with the fallen angels that left their abode rather than being the only saint in the then wickedness replete world where corruption was rife and ubiquitous. Because the Bible says, according to Genesis 6 verse 8, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Although there are every proof and evidence that Noah fears God and believes in God, as was evident in his faith and actions. The account, where Noah receives instruction from God. Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, from verses 13 through 22. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them and, behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark of gopher wood, rooms shalt thou make in the ark, and shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of, the length of the ark shall be three hundred cubits, the breadth of it fifty cubits, and the height of it thirty cubits. A window shalt thou make to the ark, and in a cubit shalt thou finish it above, and the door of the ark shalt thou set in the side thereof, with lower, second, and third stories shalt thou make it. And, behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life, from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. 
But with thee will I establish my covenant, and thou shalt come into the ark, thou, and thy sons, and thy wife, and thy sons' wives with thee. And of every living thing of all flesh, two of every sort shalt thou bring into the ark, to keep them alive with thee, they shall be male and female. Of fowls after their kind, and of cattle after their kind, of every creeping thing of the earth after his kind, two of every sort shall come unto thee, to keep them alive. And take thou unto thee of all food that is eaten, and thou shalt gather it to thee, and it shall be for food for thee, and for them. Thus did Noah, according to all that God commanded him, so did he. Genesis chapter 6, verses 13 to 22, KJV. So for Noah to believe God and accept to build the ark despite the fact that there had never been rain before, and not minding mockery, insults, and the scorning of those who either have forgotten God or are deliberately refusing to obey Him, is a testament and testimonial that Noah truly has faith and confidence in God. Just like Abraham, who the Bible says believed God, it was counted to him as righteousness. In further background on Noah's lineage and righteousness, the Bible says, Noah was the son of Lamech and the grandson of Methuselah. He had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The Bible describes Noah as a righteous man, blameless among his contemporaries, and someone who walked faithfully with God. And in God's warning and the building of the ark, God spoke to Noah and revealed his plan to destroy all flesh with a flood. He instructed Noah to build an ark to save himself, his family, and representatives of every living creature. Noah faithfully followed God's instructions and spent years constructing the massive ark. And in the entry into the ark, the Bible says, In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah, and Shem, and Ham, and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them, into the ark. They, and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. And the waters prevailed, and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went upon the face of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills, that were under the whole heaven, were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered. And all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl, and of cattle, and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. And every living substance was destroyed which was upon the face of the ground, both man, and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowl of the heaven, and they were destroyed from the earth, and Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth an hundred and fifty days. Genesis chapter 7, from verses 11 to 24, KJV. When Noah was six hundred years old, the floodwaters came upon the earth. Noah, his wife, his sons, and their wives entered the ark, 
along with pairs of every kind of animal, as commanded by God. God shut them inside the ark. For forty days and forty nights, rain poured from the heavens, and the fountains of the great deep burst forth. The floodwaters covered the entire earth, wiping out all living creatures that were not inside the ark. 